I love horror. I love everything to do with horror. I love the chill that it gives. I love a lot of social commentary that it can bring. A lot of political undertones. Look at uh, Dawn of the Dead. It's about consumerism. It's about... It's kind of a you know, uh, foreshadowing for what would come with the coronavirus. I think George Romero really understood people that it would be real-life foreshadowing, especially when it comes to stuff like the fact that we didn't really take the world being taken over seriously like they did with the zombies. They didn't take it seriously in that movie. They were just making a day of it. Games, all that. I love really old horror, though. I love 1931's Dracula with Bela Lugosi in the star role. And I love how it doesn't really have a soundtrack. I feel like a soundtrack can sometimes ruin horror if overused. And that's a problem with a lot of horror. A lot of jump scares. I don't remember Dracula really having any jump scares. It was very tame on the jump scare department. But I loved how timely it was. A lot of people like movies because they're timeless. But I like them because sometimes they're just those movies that they aren't a period piece but are of the era. They are of the era that they're made in. Uh, I loved how it was based off of a stage production. It was very theatrical. It was like the script was of the theater. I love how everything about it. It, it was just fantastic. I love how just the sets were designed. I loved the matte paintings. I loved everything about it, except... That ending. The ending where Bella Lugosi dies off screen and then they just put the end over it. What the fuck kind of ending is that? That's such a. such a bad ending. I think that if I were to do it, I would probably have. They have the director, I forgot his name, he did a lot of, like, pan-ins, like, zoom-ins on Bela Lugosi's eyes, where he was just eye-fucking the camera. <laughs> he just eye-fucked the camera, and it would be so terrifying. Bela Lugosi knocked it out of the park. He actually, uh... Even though he was actually in the original theater production, I think on Broadway, of Dracula, he actually had to, like, really, really, like, put himself, like, uh, what, what would be the word, uh, like, argue that he must be Dracula. He really advocated for himself. That's the word, advocate. He advocated for himself, and I'm glad he did, because he is an incredible presence in the film. It is camp, but it's still amazing. It's like a pantomime. I love it. I've just been going on about Dracula the whole video, but I, I love horror. I love everything about it. I love the cinematography that, co that goes into it, that unique cinematography, the setup payoff that you only see in stuff like horror or comedy. It's very just, it's very, it's very unique to those two genres, the setup payoff type deal. I, and at least that's what I think. I think that if you need to watch anything, if you're just sitting around, you're just like, I need to watch something. Watch a horror movie. 